So, what is the contribution of uh, Parala Maharaja to uh, the modern Odisha? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, Parala Maharaja is also known as uh, Krishna Chandra Maharaja, Krishna Chandra Vajapati Narayan. Sir, uh, he has contributed immensely uh, towards, like he, um, uh, the Odia speaking tracts, like he uh, was a person who uh, went to the first and second roundtable conference and he raised this issue that uh, Odisha should be a separate state based on the linguistic uh, provisions. And he made that. Along with that, he has some social contributions as well. For example, he has contributed in making the our uh, SCB Medical College. Um, apart from that, our Katak, the Rice Institute in Katak, he has built that. And except that, some canal and irrigation works he has also done. And he has contributed immensely towards uh, the uh, like women empowerment and schools and colleges uh, he has made. Sir. Okay, you said that Parala Maharaja was Maharaja Krishnachandra Gajapati. Yes, sir. But SCV Medical College is named after Sri Ram Chandra Bhanja. Yes, sir. So you told that SCV, uh, he, he contributed to his, uh, SCV Medical College or MKC Medical College? Sir, actually in book it is written that SCV Medical College. Okay. Okay. But uh, and uh, who was Sri Ram Chandra Bhanja? Sir, Sri Ram Chandra Bhanja was uh, the king of uh, Mayur Bhanj. Okay. Okay, so uh, what is waste to energy? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, waste to energy is a concept where we uh, uh, use the waste uh, generated and again we uh, like process it to gain something useful. Okay, can you cite few examples? Yes, sir. So, for example, in our solid waste management, uh, like in incineration or in pyrolysis, uh, the process which happens. So, there the solid wastes are converted into uh, biochar. Okay. So, the biochar is again, yes, sir. The biochar is again used in thermal power plants to produce energy. Um, so, this is the process, sir. Okay. Example of waste the, energy. What is the basic difference between incineration and pyrolysis? Yes, sir. So the basic difference between incineration and pyrolysis is incineration is a process in which the combustion is done. Uh, the process is like the materials are burned in the presence of oxygen. But in pyrolysis, the materials are burned uh, in the absence of complete absence of uh, oxygen, sir. Okay. What is Paris Climate uh, Summit and what was the outcome? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, Paris climate change, uh, um, it was uh, like the, um, um, it was, uh, sir, the conference was uh, held uh, to reach to a consensus for uh, uh, safeguarding our uh, climate, safeguarding our planet. Sir, UNFCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change is one of the outcome of Paris climate change. And the conference of parties that is being held every year, like uh, this year, the Conference of Parties 26 was held in Glasgow. It is one of the outcome. Uh, there, all the developed and developing countries come together and they discuss on the matters that uh, like enhance the growth, enhance the uh, like what is worsening the condition of the climate and they discuss on that. And various outcomes are uh, formulated. One of the outcomes that has come is the concept of climate financing uh, okay. in COP26. Okay. What is Panchamrit in the context of climate change? Yes, sir. Sir, the Panchamrit concept was uh, pro, like uh, given by our honorable uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, sir, uh, to uh, for uh, like in the COP26. These are the five uh, five uh, like noted goals that India need to fulfill by the end of uh, certain uh, uh, certain uh, years. For example, uh, the five points. Some of the five points that I could remember are. Uh, to be uh, like to use 50% of our renewable energy by 2030, 2030, and to use like 500 gigawatt to generate 500 gigawatt uh, minimum energy by the year 2030, uh, 2035, and uh, to go like uh, net zero by 2030 to use the carbon, uh, reduce the carbon uh, use by net 2070. Yes. Okay. Net zero. Net zero. Okay. That's good. Uh, what is the ecological and uh, you can say environmental and ecological importance of Andaman Nicobar Island? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, the environmental and ecological uh, uh, importance of Andaman Nicobar Island is 
uh, sir as it is uh, flower uh, located in the it, it has a very strategic importance it is located in our uh, indian ocean and uh, sir it provides to uh, like uh, the growth of coral reefs uh, and the coral reefs are very important in uh, saving our ocean uh, climatic ecosystem in the oceans they conserve that so it is useful in that as well um, along with that uh, the coastal part uh, it safeguards the coast and also contributes towards the growth of uh, like some indigenous species of fish and other things i could remember this okay have, have you heard of uh, gangetic dolphin yes sir gangetic okay. dolphin i heard uh, where they are basically found sir uh, gangetic dolphins are uh, found in sir in um, uh, sir i cannot remember okay um, what is the, the what is the what is the basic uh, dis- difference between andaman nicobar island and lakshadweep island uh, sir uh, one thing i could remember is the coral formation are different in uh, both the types uh, uh, okay uh, um, so do you know where uh, our, the marine national park is and amani cover okay okay so uh, you have uh, you have written your hobbies as painting cooking and uh, teaching okay yes, uh, sir. have you heard of uh, bhim betka yes sir okay what is why sir, is, uh, what is the importance of bimbetka sir bimbetka rock shelters uh, those are uh, located in maharashtra so these are the first kind of uh, painting types that were uh, originated in india and other uh, rock uh, painting sir sculptures okay, prehistoric that is important first kind of yes sir okay. prehistoric rock cool. paintings so, so what is, what are the themes uh, depicted in the bimbetka paintings sir uh, the uh, themes varied from uh, mostly animals to uh, plants and different murals uh, ranging from uh, different types of animals and uh, uh, people dwelling in caves okay uh, tribal stuff so. what is uh, pahadi painting sir i am not sure i okay. haven't heard A- any medieval ruler uh, medieval ruler uh, you know Uh, was fond of uh, painting yes sir so jahangir jahangir was, was famous uh, for painting okay okay what what uh, what are the uh, basic characteristic of mughal painting um uh, <clears throat> yes sir so the mughal paintings were uh, like um, they were uh, inspired from the gandhara style of painting as well a okay. uh, few buddhist characters have been depicted in uh, mughal style paintings as well okay. um, but there was a slight difference the gandhara style of painting uh, in the gandhara style of painting the uh, posture the sitting posture of the buddha it was shown as a very bold character mm-hmm. the hairs are open but in mughal style painting it's a little different and the mughal style paintings are included fresco painting uh, okay. and mural painting okay what is pietra dura technique pietra dura technique Uh, sir uh, this uh, is the painting style uh, that was uh, started by the mughal rulers uh, sir in this uh, so i have not uh, like uh, vivid uh, uh, knowledge about it to my limited knowledge i could say uh, the pietra dura technique was uh, done like in blue stones uh, it was in the like uh, uh, i'm even i'm not able to express okay um, that's fine okay uh, name uh, name some uh, painters who are there uh, in the modern india uh, while india was uh, fighting for the uh, freedom of the nation sir uh, two i could remember one is uh, rabindranath tagore and another one is uh, abhinandranath tagore both were painters okay oh, oh. which of them uh, was associated with bharat mata painting मैग्ना कटा ऑफ इंग्लिश एजुकेशन इन इंडिया सर दॉलेज आर यू श्योर इट इज 
Wood it is wood stage patch. patch. Okay. So uh, then who was Lord Macaulay? You you uttered the name. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, he first uh, uh, started uh, the concept of English education to be uh, given to the Indians at that time. Mm -hmm. Those who were involved in the clerical jobs during the British era. So he started this concept to teach them the English Western education. Okay. He was the secretary general of. I'm not sure. Okay, which uh, which sports you like the most? Uh, sir, I have uh, I was involved uh, in my career into sprinting like athletics. I used to play uh, running events. So running events. Okay. Uh, what are the um, elements that uh, determine the socialization of a child? Uh, yes, sir. So the elements that determines the socialization of the child is uh, uh, the family members, the surrounding where he was uh, born and brought up. Okay. Um, the teachings, the primary okay. teaching, which was uh, given by the parents. Uh, okay. Then on the school where he goes mm -hmm. and the type of surrounding uh, he resides in. These are some of the factors. Okay. Wh which organization uh, in India uh, uh, is associated with food safety? Sir, uh, Food Corporation of India. Is uh, it food safety? I am telling about food safety. Food safety. Uh, Have you heard sir, of sir, food safety and I standard am, authority? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. That is Pasai, food okay, safety okay. and standard authority of India. Okay. Uh, what is body mass index? Uh, sir, I know it, but I am not able to recall. Okay. What is basal metabolic rate? Sir, basal metabolic uh, rate, uh, it is the, uh, sir, when we uh, when we don't do any work, still uh, some energy is spent in okay. our, uh, in, uh, sir, by our organs in the body, the organs in our body, uh, and okay. those also work. Even if we sleep, for example, the heart, uh, it's, continues to beat. So the energy which it occupies or uh, which it takes, uh, that extra energy is called as basal metabolic rate. Okay. Uh, have you heard of a place called as Nagoda? No, sir. Sorry, sir. I haven't heard of it. Okay. Uh, it is a place in Odisha, which was famous for, I would say infamous for, the portray uh, the maximum population I, you would say the malnutrition of the children okay it is located in Najajpur district okay okay you have heard that you, you might have read it in the newspaper it was in the news okay okay yes, that's fine have you heard of uh, marasmus and kwasiorkar yes sir okay what are uh, sir, these two are protein deficient diseases, marasmus and quashikar. Generally, it happens uh, children, uh, like small in, uh, children, varying from age 1 to 5 or 7 or more than that. Protein okay. related. Okay. Just precisely enumerate what are the important government interventions to increase the nutritional level of children. Uh, sir, the integrated child management uh, system. It is. Uh, that okay. is one. Child uh, development scheme. Integrated child development scheme. Yes. Okay. Next. Child development scheme. Okay. Any yes, any, any scheme of uh, government of Odisha? Have you heard of Mo Chhatwa Vision? Mo Chhatwa, yes, sir. It is okay. to provide uh, the Chhatwa to kids, smalls. Okay. When. Uh, uh, what is the uh, basic uh, challenges that uh, the elderly in India face? Yes, sir, uh, sir uh, the basic, if we uh, categorize the challenges faced by elderly, uh, the first one is the financial uh, independent, uh, independency that they need, but the financial problem they face. Uh, the second one is the sir, mental illness that they face when they grow old. The third one uh, is a uh, lack of support or lack of uh, like family because nowadays due to the disintegrated family structure, 
they have to live okay. alone so that okay. is one of the problem the third one is health related issues okay and the face okay uh, what uh, we can do as an administrator what you can do to address these uh, issues of uh, that the elderly face Yes, sir. Uh, sir, um, uh, even if the government has uh, uh, some schemes related to them, okay. but I feel on a personal level, they are not able to percolate to the lowest people because okay. the elderly, uh, the gov government interventions, uh, mm -hmm. those are only limited to those uh, people who are under the below poverty line. But okay. as aged and old people, I believe even the uh, aged and old people, those belong to the uh, very well-to-do families. They also face the similar kind of problems. They uh -huh. are not looked after by their relatives. So okay. I think intervention should be made for all, uh, even if they are under below poverty line or above poverty line. Uh, there should be a sir, consensus based uh, program where the elderly should be asked that whether they are facing any problem or not. Uh, but the very complex paperwork have uh, done this thing impossible. Uh, they are old and they're not able to go to the offices. Uh, so we need to find a solution where we can go door to door and ask them if they are facing any problem or not. Okay. Okay. Have you heard of uh, Nandan Nilekani? Sir, I have heard Nandan Nilekani. Okay. Uh, I'm not able to recall, but I've heard. Okay. Yes. So uh, what is uh, unique identification authority of India? Sir, I don't know, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay. Uh, have you heard of, uh, do you know the Aadhaar card? Unique identification, yes sir, Aadhaar card. Yes, okay, sir. that is associated with the issue of Aadhaar card. And Nanda Nilikani was the person who headed the uh, UIDAI. Okay, okay. So, uh, recently, uh, you know that uh, in the, uh, the, the, meet, uh, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization meet was going on, okay. Where uh, was it held? The place, the name of the place? Uh, sir, Samarkand, Uzbekistan. Very, very good. Uh, so, what is the importance of uh, Sangha Cooperation Organization uh, for India? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, India being a part of uh, the Sangha Corporation Organization, next year, uh, this year it was held in Uzbekistan, but next year India uh, will be uh, hosting on the corporation in uh, our country. Okay. So the importance lies in the fact that uh, it includes not only the countries, the countries which are divided in its opinion. Okay. So it's very important for India to create a stability between uh, the two sides. For example, there is an excess going on between China and Russia. They are on one part. And in the other part, we have our um, uh, sir, Asian countries and other countries. Mm. Uh, so India, it's important for India to create a, a middle path where mm. it will be able to uh, address the global issues, especially, which is common to both the developing nations and for the developed nations so that they don't feel, the developing nations don't feel left out mm -hmm. under the power of the superior. Okay. Okay. What is your, uh, what is your view on India is one of the uh, countries that still has the death penalty. Okay. And there has been also demand from certain section of the society to abolish the death, death penalty. So what is your view on that? Uh, sir, um, um, according to the recent cases and a few uh, past cases uh, where uh, where um, uh, the Supreme Court has been pressurized to uh, legalize on the death penalty. But sir, uh, I believe that uh, we have a due procedure of law that is to be followed. And every, uh, uh, every uh, criminal or every, uh, they have the right to represent themselves as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so the court is making a balance between the sir, retributive justice and uh, the restorative justice. Mm -hmm. And it has to see both the parts, uh, the criminal's side and uh, the other victim's side. After that, after judging everything, it is going to decide uh, what is which action is to be taken. Uh, so I believe that being the superior, uh, like the supreme uh, lawmaking body of the country, um, whatever constitutional so you are, uh, mandates so you are, are so you are there, living so you are leaving it on Supreme Court. What what is your take on that, sir? My talk, uh, take on it will be uh, as uh, the every crime it depends upon the uh, uh, sir the intensity of the intensity of the crime. What kind of crime it is? It is okay. 
needs to be verified uh, not as a like not as a citizens we cannot just directly go on a fact that case we can hang a person or not we have to see whether a person is able to get back to the society or not whether a person is in the right state of mind or not okay. keeping all this into consideration sir we can get into a conclusion okay so um, can you cite few recent uh, electoral reforms implemented by the election commission Okay, have you heard of Nota? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, what is that? Yes, sir, I have heard of. Okay. Uh, no, uh, sir, it's uh, none of the above. If nobody wants to vote, then okay, can, yes, none of the above. Okay. None of the above options. Okay. If nobody wants to vote, then he can choose that option. They what is what option. is what is VVPAT? Sir, I'm not sure. VVPAT. Okay. Okay. It is. Voter verifiable paper audit trail. Okay, yes, so uh, recently uh, you have had there is uh, there is a tussle between uh, various uh, states and center. Okay, so uh, in this context, uh, can you answer uh, that? Uh, uh, what do you mean by federalism? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, federalism. Uh, federalism is a system of the government. when uh, there should be a consensus between the state and the center where the center has the supreme uh, power to rule over the states whenever it wants so okay state has the center has the supreme power then what is quasi federal uh, sir sir i'm not sure okay okay uh, if india is a federal structure or it is a quasi federal structure sir it's a federal structure federal structure okay quasi federal exists but federal okay structure. okay so uh, what do you mean by civil society yes, sir uh, sir civil societies are the societies which are uh, not under the ambit of uh, government sir civil societies can include uh, non government organizations okay. for example like amnesty international these are uh, included under civil societies okay what do you mean by corporate social responsibility yes, sir sir corporate social responsibility is a uh, like uh, it's a um um the corporate social responsibility it is a uh, build factor of a company uh, which not only thinks about its uh, employees but also towards its responsibility to the society so it includes uh, the ethical principles and the environmental factors everything is taken into consideration so the main uh, uh, the main aim of the corporate social responsibility is the company is trying to enhance its productivity or not doing any harm to the environment or any other people okay uh, what is sustainable development sir so, the sustainable development uh, is the uh, development where we need uh, some the resources we need some resources to meet our uh, present needs without hampering those resources that our future might need in Okay, the last question for you is: What are biofuels? Biofuels, sir. Biofuels are the fuels that are produced from uh, any biological sources. For example, many algae. Uh, sir, I don't remember the name of the algae. They are uh, used to produce um, some fuels uh, in place of petrol or diesel. They can be used. So okay. these are a step towards uh, achieving our greener technologies. and uh, to have you heard of have a better environment have you heard of jatropha plant jatropha jatropha belodonai yes sir this is okay. one of the plant which uh, produces fuel what it is biodiesel it produces biodiesel biodiesel okay. yes so sir. what what is it it? what is ethanol blending sir ethanol blending is a process in which we um, add along with uh, ethanol be some percentage of ethanol is added to the petrol or diesel sir i am not sure about okay it. you have to told the correct answer okay so there certain proportion of ethanol is added to the fuel okay so thank you very much this comes to the we have, we have come to the end of your interview i am coming in a few minutes with the feedback thank, thank you